Let's talk to Ryan Littlestone. He's a trader and analyst at forexflow.live. Very good morning to you, young Ryan. Good morning to you, Nick. Right, you've sent two thought-provoking slides to us. Let's kick off without further ado on the first one. Kim and Trump. Yeah, that's what we're having at the moment. Uh, best of buddies at the moment, aren't they? Yeah. We, we've had uh, discussions going on with, between the US and uh, North Korea. Um, you know, it's, it's pretty much come out the, the blue sort of thing, you know, a while back that, you know, they were calling each other names and uh, lobbing insults across the, the pond to each other. But now they're all they're seemingly getting back, back to best of buddies. And uh, that's good for risk trades. It's potentially good for the rest of us and uh, the world in 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 its entirety, because no one wants to see any uh, hostilities there. And uh, that's alleviating some risk in the markets. We're seeing uh, yen pairs react to that. Um, and it's, it's just becoming some more favorable conditions for, for markets to get into. And uh, that's a good thing. OK, well, let's talk about 10 year money. Um, second slide, the US 10 year yields. Um, obviously, lots of market commentary on this. This has yeah. um, scared the market beginning of the year. Obviously, the inflationary pressures. Um, what are the technicals and indeed the fundamentals suggesting to you, Ryan? Well, you know, this really only we got got this second leg only really last week. Um, you know, late last week, suddenly, you know, US bonds started ticking up again, and and the market's focus started to shift to that big three percent level again. Yeah, um, we've tested it this morning. Um, just at this time of of talking, I think the high is uh, two point nine nine six percent before it, it eased back a touch. And what it's doing is it's it's dragging a dollar with it. Um, the, as we've spoken about for, for many weeks on here, the dollar's been very lethargic and, you know, it's, it's kept an offer tone. And it's just starting to be dragged up a bit now um, with these yields rising. And here we are again at a crunch point, 3%. Uh, if we break here, then, then we could be heading much, much higher. Um, and, of course, in the FX space, that's going to have a big, big effect on things. And, and today we're seeing a, a resumption of, of last week and dollar strength and uh, everything else offered against it. So... Very, very big trade at the moment, and um, for FX markets, we're just we're just sitting sitting and watching um, because the, the fundamentals behind it are, are a bit different. Um, but what we're also seeing is is we're seeing the knock-on effect is is bigger in different pairs. I mean, take cable. Um, obviously, we were set up beginning of last week up into 143, three big data points: CPI, retail sales, and uh, the jobs report, and. Um, you know, they came in, the CPI report especially came in disappointing. Um, and then we had Carney coming out and saying, um, you know, not to expect such a, or May's not such a, a, a done deal as, as many maybe in the market thinks. You know, add that together with this bond move and, and Cable suffered a double whammy. Um, but again, you know, it's, it's pretty much all about the dollar. But uh, we just got to watch the different scales in, in different pairs and how they're going to move. OK, so I'm always interested in your conviction thoughts. OK, what, what's your highest conviction for this week? Which way would you be? Um, at the moment, you've got to go with the dollar. Um, if, if the dollar's on the move, if the dollar's on the march and, and it's looking very strong, you've got to stick with the dollar. Um, I've, I've been a, a bear for, you know, pretty much two years. You know, whether this is a long term change or not, um, you've got to go with, the, with what the price is telling you at the yeah. moment. The price is telling you buy the dip in the dollar. So that's what you've got to go with. On that note, Ryan, thank you very much. We'll talk to you next week, 10.30. That's Ryan. Thank you. Thanks, Nick.